As the staffing shortages in the service industry show no sign of letting up, local restaurants are now taking some measures they were hoping to avoid. As News 5's Spencer Humphrey tells us, are well, even well-established restaurants not only turning away business now, but periodically shutting down altogether. A taste of home. I think it's as authentic as it gets. Is what's kept Germany native Susanna Vasquez on her feet the past 11 years here at Edelweiss restaurant. This is like a family to me. I, I was really homesick when I first got here. It's why the pandemic was so unnerving. It was it was really scary. It I mean, you don't know what would happen next. One question always stuck with her. When can we open? Would people still come out to eat, you know? And if Sunday's crowd is any indication. 800 people a day. Yeah, they're back. You know, March was better than some regular holiday seasons. It should be a reason to celebrate. We don't want to complain about being too busy. But. There is a problem. Edelweiss, like most other service-oriented businesses, can't find enough people to serve those crowds. We have to close rooms. We have to send people away that do not have a reservation at some point. It's to the point where even though they're being paid overtime, no amount of money can keep these worn out workers on their feet. For the next, I think, three Mondays, you know, we have to close to give people who do work to give them a little rest. The irony not lost on Vasquez. It's saddening. It's sad because during COVID, we had no work and now we have a lot of work and nobody to work. It's a problem for sure, but it's also all about perspective. So it's a great place. I, I feel like it's a great place to be. So. Always watching out for you, Colorado Springs. Spencer Humphrey, News 5.